what's up y'all welcome back to the sunshine way i am your lovely host kaya and i'm back i'm back with another video and this one is you know personal for me and you know i'm letting y'all a little bit into my life my life secrets and things of that sort but today i wanted to i was about to do my devotion and as i was about to do my devotion it was just like why don't you share your how you do your devotion how you spend time with god on a daily basis um and like how that goes and stuff um you do not have to do your devotion in this way um i feel like mine is different than the typical person but um you can do your devotion however you see fit and honestly like my devotion sometimes isn't the same every single day so it's more explained and then I can get more word into it so the first thing so if you would like to see my devotion routine and if you would like to actually do devotion with me because I'm actually gonna do it like I'm not just gonna tell y'all like what I do I'm gonna actually do it so if you would like to see this routine give this video a thumbs up hit the subscribe button and stay tuned thing that I like to do is I like to go to my Pandora oh wow okay there you go I like to go to my Pandora and what's playing right now made away it is playing right now but of course I can't play the whole song because then I'm gonna get copyrighted but so far this morning I've listened to made away why does the sky by Isabel Davis love theory by Kurt Franklin strong name by Darius Polk I guess that's how you say his name uh, victory by Fred Jerkins Happy by Tasha Cobbs. Pour Your Oil by Joshua Roberts. Anyways, this is just, you know, what Pandora's playing. So I really don't, like, choose a specific song. If I'm in the mood to hear a specific song, I will go to YouTube. But for the most part, I just go to Pandora. And the two stations that I listen to is called Today's Gospel Radio and then Today's Christian Hits Radio. So those are the two gospel stations that I listen to. So I listen to that music. And then I'll pray. So, Lord, by his, close your eyes. So, Lord, thank you for bringing us here today. Thank you for providing us with life, health, and strength. I pray that every person under the sound of my voice, health is intact, um, their stomach is full, and their heart is full, and that they are in a safe place. I pray that this devotion really touches someone and encourages someone. I pray that, you know, this is the jump start into someone with their relationship with God, their relationship with Christ, and that um, that you just bless this day and this bless this video. And Jesus, now I pray, Amen. So after I say my prayer, um, I like to get my my staples right here. And the first thing I have is my Jesus Calling by Sarah Young. Um, let me turn it this way but anyways um it comes in different formats all of them are either leather book or they're hardback but um mine's is leather and what it, this is is a daily devotion thing and it has dates on the top of the page so it coordinates with the day you want to read it so today is april 1st so we're going to read april not april 1st excuse me april 2nd so we're going to read april 2nd so this is what I do and I just go and I go straight into reading this. It says, April 2nd, I have promised to meet all your needs according to my glorious riches. Your deepest, most constant need is for my peace. I have planted peace in the garden of your heart. Where I live, but there are weeds growing there too. Pride, worry, selfishness and unbelief so God said <clears throat> he's provided this peace for us and this peace is supposed to simmer in our hearts but we have all these other things growing in our garden that's like basically killing our garden their weeds which is pride worry selfishness and unbelief um, it says I am the gardener and I am working to rid your heart of those reeds so Please allow God to come into your heart and work on your heart. You know, get rid of all that stuff. Let that bad stuff go because we don't need that bad stuff in our life. We don't need that negativity in our life. We don't do that. 
we don't need that it's we supposed to be bossing up we supposed to be living our best life and we're supposed to be living peacefully and with happiness so let me continue it says i do my work in various ways when you sit quietly with me i shine the light of my presence directly into your heart in this heavenly light peace grows abundantly and we shrivel so when you put yourself into god's presence and you let him into your life um and you bask in his presence you're praying to him you're talking to him you're communing with him and all that stuff like that is his chance to really get rid of that stuff and it betters you as a person and it betters your life like you gotta do it so um then it says my presence directly into your heart in this heavenly light peace grows abundantly and we shrivel up i also send trials into your life when you trust me in the midst of trouble peace flourishes and weeds die away Thank me for troublesome situations. The peace they can produce for outweighs the trials you are enduring. So it's just like the more you trust him, like he will handle those situations that you're worried about or that you're like conflicted about. He got you. He always got you. Like, I don't even know why we be tripping. We really be tripping, but he got us. So why are we even tripping? So after I read um what the page says i usually go because they usually have like scriptures at the bottom and the scriptures at the bottom tell you um just some more information and kind of connects the bible to the the paragraph on the page um so the first one is philippians so if you want to you can pause the video that's up to you but it's philippians 4 and 19 and Philippians 4 and 19 says, And my God shall supply all your needs according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. So there's nothing, nothing, nothing point blank period that our God can do. Like he will supply all our needs. He will do everything that needs to be done and take care of everything that needs to be done. And if that ain't a whole vibe. Then what is a vibe? If that's not the vibe, what is the vibe? All right, the next one is Corinthians. Well, Second Corinthians, excuse me. Second Corinthians 4 and 17. And this one says, let me go back. I like King James Version, but I read the other ones too. Uh, it says, for our light affliction which is but for a moment worketh for us a far more exceeding exceeding an external weight of glory and then i'm gonna read the new international version it says for our light and momentarily troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all so basically what you dealing <laughs> what you're dealing with in this day and time is not comparable for the eternal which is what what we're working for the eternal life it's it can't compare and it's not even worth like tripping over you know what i mean or destroying your life over or ruining things over and that's I, I, if you need to hear it again you can rewind if you want to and you can hear it again but to me that is telling me starting today okay i got peace in my heart and i'm gonna let god get rid of all those weeds all them little bad people bad feelings killing the vibe killing who i am killing my purpose all that it's about to go it gotta deuces it gotta go it gotta go so the next thing that i do after i do that is i use spiritual led promises for moms and the reason why I read this, and I know you're like, girl, you are not a mom yet. But um, the reason why I read this is because I'm engaged currently. So, like, I'm going to get into, um, eventually I'm going to have kids within the next couple of years. And on top of that, my fiance has a daughter. So, you know, it's just preparing my heart and my mind to be a wife and to be a mom. And, like... 
that's very very important to me and i want god to deal with me on that because i do want to be the wife god has called me to be and i do want to be the mother that god has called me to be so anyways i read this if you're a guy you can last thing i read so it just like have a title so the last one i read i believe was Anger was the last one I read. So the next one is anointing. Um, and it says. <coughs> the way this one does. Is it gives a title. Or a topic of a, or a subject. And then it gives you. Um, like a list of like. Four scriptures. That deals with that. And the scripture is there for you. So you can just read the scripture straight out the page. Now usually when I'm doing this. I'm writing notes. I just started. I just got this new note journal the bomb.com um i love journals uh but i usually am writing while i'm doing this but since i'm talking to y'all like that's my writing like that's me thinking it out loud and stuff so how i'm talking to y'all is like basically what i would be writing down like what i'm thinking what am i receiving what is god telling me through what i'm reading today so there this says anointing it says he gives great deliverance to his king and shows loving kindness to his anointed to david and to his descendants forevermore so it's just like god loves those who rise up in the kingdom basically and who walk into their anointing and not only will you be blessed but your descendants which is your kids and those generations that come after you they will be blessed because you stood up in the kingdom and you stood up in your purpose and walked in your anointing so i love that that one was psalms 18 and 50. the next one is luke 4 and 18 it says the spirit of the lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor he has sent me to heal the brokenhearted and to preach deliverance to the captives and recover of sight to the blind and set at liberty to those who are oppressed that is luke 4 and 18 and honestly y'all this one hit home more than one i just read because it's just like god has designed us all for a purpose and we all have a calling now whether you tap into that and you do that that's really up to you you know what i mean and everybody calling everybody's purpose everybody anointing is not the same and that's what people tend to get confused and they try to do other people's anointing and other people's purposes and calling and then they end up failing or they don't feel fulfilled and that's because that won't fool you you really gotta ask god like what is my what what is my purpose? What is my anointing? What is my calling? You really got to let God provide that answer for you because, honey, you will, you will mess yourself up. Um, for the sake of the time in this video, I'm going to finish reading these off camera. But the other scriptures are 1 Timothy 1 and 12, 1 Peter 2 and 9 through 1 Peter 2, 9 through 10. And then the last one is 1 John two and 27 so then after i read this i finish both of these and then um i write what i need to write and then the next thing i do is i think about what am i grateful for so i list five things that i'm grateful for and then i list five things that i want to pray about um, sometimes I list three things that I'm grateful for and three things that I want to pray about. Seven things that I'm grateful for and seven things I want to pray about. Um, but the reason why I think is to list those grateful things is because we get so bogged down with what's going on in the world that we forget the things that we should be grateful for and even the trouble things that we that we go through. You know, we should be grateful for those because those are preparing us for the person that we're supposed to become and those things are preparing us to be a testimony and to be a help to someone else so we should be grateful for a lot and then the things that i write down the things that i want to pray about is because sometimes 
you know, you forget to pray about stuff. You know what I mean? And it's in your heart. So God knows what you need, what you desire. But um, just writing those things down and making it clear, you know what I mean? To yourself and to God, like these are the things that I'm trying to see be manifest. Or manifested. I don't know. But anyways, and then after I finish that, um, I just pray out. So, by his close your eyes, Lord, thank you for this devotion today. Let it resonate in our hearts. Let it resonate in our spirit. Let us carry it on, not only today, but carry it on throughout the rest of our lives. Um, let this be the start of something new, the start of an open heart. And continue to, to bless this path and guide us on this path, this journey. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. And... Without further ado, that is the end of my video. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you tap, tap, tap the notification bell so you can be notified. Every time your girl uploads. <laughs> and remember. And remember. Be humble. Be inspiring. Be kind, y'all. And don't forget to shine. I'll see y'all on the next one.